Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters Scotty D TV, but I was at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and man, what a cool place. If you've never visited, it's some place you want to go for sure. Even if you're not that crazy about Corvettes, it's still a cool place to see automotive history. And then for a while there, they had a display of uh, Ed Big Daddy Roth's cars and his, oh, his screen printing stuff and his artwork. And I got over there and shot some videos and did a complete walk around of the display but i wanted to come back and take a closer look at some of his cars that they had in the display and today i've got the outlaw so uh, let me get the camera turned around we'll take a closer look at it that was ed's first experimenting with fiberglass is the outlaw this car said that he had seen henry ford back in 1941 the 41 ford had a fiberglass deck lid and in one of the advertisements henry hit it with a hammer and it didn't dent so Ed was intrigued by that. And then he ran into it again on the beach, covering a wood surfboard as a waterproof protectant, and got a closer look at it. And then somebody built a uh, Bonneville Streamliner out of it, the body out of it. And so they said after that he was on his way. Now they used wood bucks <laughs> like they would now, but uh, they said it was a little complicated for Ed, so he ended up using plaster. He made his bucks out of plaster, laid fiberglass over them, and then that made his female mold, and then he'd come back and make his parts. The idea was to reproduce these, mass produce these, sell these as kits. From my understanding, they didn't sell too well. It's got a 1950s Caddy engine in it. The chassis is a uh, combination of a uh, 1929 Ford frame with a 25 Model T cross member. And I thought it was interesting too, because you know he didn't have a lot of tools when he got started. So what he would do is when he's putting these cars together, he would wire them together with baling wire, and then he'd put them on a trailer and take them down to the welder and have the welder weld everything together where he had it wired together with baling wire. Just making it work, you know. It was back in the day. It was the beginning. You know, I was doing some research and just talking about working with fiberglass. Nobody knew how to do it. He was blowing through pants and shoes because you know resin was eating through it and fiberglass was getting everywhere. And you know they didn't realize the health hazards of it. You know, all, all he knew was it was a, a moldable product that he could make cool stuff out of. And uh, to heck with human safety, you know. <laughs> but nowadays, we know. That was some uh, crazy stuff he was messing with. I dig the paint job. I dig the whole car. I see why it was a why it was a hit back in the day. You can imagine, you know, this kind of styling, just over the top. I like how the how the paint flows back into the interior and how all that works together. You know, he had a great eye for design. And it's history. I mean, it's first car that Ed Big Daddy Roth made. I knew y'all would want to see it. So there you go from the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Ed Big Daddy Roth, outlaw. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.